Assalamu alaikum, hi everyone. Today we are going to build an RSVB similar to what you see. It has a title, description, location, date and time. There is also form attached to it. It has first name, last name and all these fields that you see. Also a place for the user to select whether he's going to attend or not. We will be using Laravel 9 installed on Docker and using also Inertia.js with React and Tailwind CSS but actually I will not be writing Tailwind CSS that much I will be heavily dependent on Tailwind UI as it offers a bunch of components that it's awesome it makes it super easy for anyone to build beautifully designed applications so let's get started I will go to this section where it has get started on macOS I will copy this line and I will paste it in my terminal I will make sure first to change the app name into um, RSVB and they will hit enter So as you can see now that all I have to do is to cd into RSV, RSVB folder and then run vendor bin and then sale and up. As you can see on Docker, there is a bunch of stuff that was installed. We didn't have to worry about them. So if I go back to localhost, as we can see, we have successfully installed Laravel 9 on this machine using Docker. Now the application is running from our terminal and sometimes you want it to be from the backend. So the way we do it is first let's close this one I will control and see it will start stopping the docker images now we can run the same command but with dash d it will give us the same result however we can still use the terminal furthermore so if you go back to the application you will see it's still it is still running I'm sure yeah now the next step is that we need to make an alias for vendor bin sale because we are going to use this command if you want to install any composer package you need to use vendor bin sale at the beginning and of course we are going to use PHP artisan so you have to pre-pin that with the vendor bin sale as well so to make it easier we have to use an alias so if you go back to the documentation and if we search for sale there is documentation for sale not of a sale and if we go to the um, configuring a bash alias there is this command line we will just copy it and if you are using a bash then you will uh, open the bash rc file now in my case I'm going to open zsh rc file which is I prefer vim I will open it with vim and it's located in dot zsh rc I will hit I to insert I will paste it in the last line and then escape on WQ to write the file and exit by the way it's already running as you can see it's so instead of doing that I will type 
sale just sale then down finally let's open the project in a code editor i use code insiders and as you can see this is our project 